I was shopping the vases and through the shelves, I saw a lady pick this piece up, turn it over and put it back down. Everyone always tells me they never find anything in the metal section, but I couldn't get over here quickly enough. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. Today I am headed to the south part of Las Vegas, Henderson, to try a Goodwill I haven't been to in over a year. It's quite a drive, about 30 minutes, but hopefully we will find some treasures. I'll see you there. We're driving by, so I just had to show you our Allegiant Stadium. The second most expensive stadium in the world, it can hold over 70 thousand people. Home of our Las Vegas Raiders, we're hosting this season's Super Bowl in February 2024. We are here at the Goodwill at Silverado Ranch and Bermuda in Las Vegas and I'm actually not sure that I've ever filmed at this location but uh, I'll know as soon as I walk in. Without further ado, let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting! It's always so exciting to go into a thrift store you've never been into or you haven't been into for a while because you never know what you're going to find. Here in Southern Nevada there are 17 Goodwill locations so you're never short of a new one to try. They're all run independently and the managers set the prices as they see fit. So pricing varies and uh, it's fun to go in and treasure hunt. Lots of carts available here. They have a Halloween boutique. So let's go in and see if we can locate the hard goods and uh, see what they have. The hard goods are on the right wall. It looks like they go all the way back to the artwork and the furniture. Let's explore here and then we'll take a look in the Halloween section. When you're in a thrift store and the shelves aren't as full as you'd hoped they'd be, it's easy to assume that there's nothing there for you. But don't panic. More often than not, if you go slowly and have a good look, you can always find at least one or two treasures. Throughout this thrifting adventure, I am going to share some tips to give you the best chance of not leaving the store empty handed. The first one is look at everything. Check the high shelves, the low shelves, move things aside and unstack piles. You just never know what's hiding. I love the modern style of this elephant, but it's not ever such good quality with quite a bit of damage, so we'll leave it on the shelf. This piece looks like Lennox, but again, very lightweight, not good quality, so we'll leave it. We've got several dolls here. Dolls are not my niche. I don't know much about them, so I am going to leave them. One more here. We'll pop her down with her friends. Ooh, underneath are a couple of resin wall hangings. These are vegetables. I have a couple of similar pieces in my booth, so we'll leave those. I do like this stitchery. Dreams come true. It's a lovely font, beautiful flowers. So let's pop this into our cart. We'll keep going. Up here are two baggies. One is seashells, but the other is full of koalas. And immediately I see a John Rea Beasties of the Kingdom piece, which brings me to my next tip. When you find a baggie where you know that even just one piece can make you your money back and a profit, don't be afraid to buy it. Let's pop that into our cart. 
Here are a pair of white onyx horse bookends. Unfortunately, they're both missing their bases and they're $15 each, which is right about retail. So we'll leave those for somebody else. Back here is a celestial wall hanging, a moon and suns. I love the color, we'll definitely take that. And also back here, a sweet little artisan pottery piece. I think it's either a trinket dish or a soap dish for $2, so we'll get her as well. Let's take both of these and carefully put them into the cart. I really need to grab my thrifting Vegas blanket. We'll cover these last sections and then I'll get my blanket into the cart. Some fairy garden bits there with a bunny figurine. What else have we got? An inexpensive carousel horse uh, sun catcher there. Another doll. Just checking way at the back. There's a baggie with more seashells and seashell trinket boxes. Look at this, it appears to, oh, this is one of those music boxes where the little figurines move around on a magnet like they're skating. It's $5. I'm not sure all those pieces go with it or that they're original, but uh, for $5, it would be fun to take a look and see if it works. Let's pop that into our cart. This last section is seasonal bits. We've got a wreath, a teddy bear riding a wooden reindeer. He's a bit worse for wear, missing some pieces. This is either a snow globe or a light. We've got a Santa teapot, a snowman cookie jar. Ooh, these are lovely. They sell really, really well for me. Little paperweight cubes that sit at an angle. Oh no, I'm noticing at the corner there a big chip in the glass. And unfortunately, it is in a spot where it can't be hidden right at the front. It's a lovely bird design and only a dollar. But unfortunately, because of that damage, we're going to have to leave it on the shelf. Moving down, we've got a puzzle and another sun catcher. I absolutely love the design of this. Little birds and butterflies live, laugh, love, but it has some peeling and cracking and damage. So sadly, we will have to leave that as well. well let's keep going. We've got a snowman cookie jar. St. Patrick's Day nutcracker and another candle holder. Down here is another nutcracker and some Easter bits, some baskets, Valentine's Day boxes, and a punch bowl. So many of you asked me where I got my thrifting Vegas blanket. And my lovely mum actually thrifted it at Goodwill and had it embroidered for me with thrifting Vegas. It works perfectly to cushion my fines and make sure they get up to the cash register safe and sound. They just wheeled out a brand new cart of treasures. The baskets are full, so let's have a peek and see what we can find. It looks like it's mostly Halloween bits. Here is a sugar skull. It's made of plastic, but this would be really, really fun lit up with a tea light inside. I wonder if it glows. Let's put that in the cart and see what else there is. Some tombstones there. Some baskets and buckets. There's a witch. Some masks over here and pumpkins. The baskets are so full and these are quite high up. So I think I'll wait for them to put these things out on the shelves and have a look then. Moving round the corner into the kitcheny bits. Kitcheny bits and candle holders. Some clear glass ones here. That might be a master salt. Quite lightweight. I don't think it's vintage. Some jars and canisters. Let's see, a little shot glass here, a snowman dish. 
Here is a glass piece in Murano style, but made in China, not very good quality. And it has a few little chips on it, I can see. It's pretty, but we'll leave that on the shelf. Here is a Winnie the Pooh uh, juice carafe. This is definitely vintage. I'm sad it has quite a few scratches in the design, but just out of interest, I am going to pop it in the cart and look it up on eBay to see what it's worth. Lots of bowls and bakers. There's a pair of plastic wellies here for $13. What's this? Oh, I think it's a planter. That's <laughs> so funny. Some pretty yellow flower bowls here. Some nesting bowls, glass bowls, and a lampshade. It's a roasting pan. This frosted bowl is pretty. Super duper heavy though, that. More bowls and tumblers, cups and saucers. Let's see. Oh, look at this fruit topped piece. It's a canister. It looks a bit like Fitz and Floyd. It says, Up Design for Otagiri. That's interesting. It does have quite a few chips on the fruit. But again, with this, I think I am going to pop it in the cart to do some research and see how much it's worth. Let's pop it in that little slot right there and keep going. Right next to it is a vintage Royal Copley Ivy planter. Absolutely gorgeous. This was made in the 1940s or 50s. You can see the beautiful glaze on it. It does have a really old crack there at the front. But for me, that just adds to its character. And for $4, we're absolutely going to pop that into our cart. We'll keep going here. We've got a salt and pepper shaker set, some candle holders, lots of glasses and mugs. Oh, look at this pretty piece. That is very unique. Two dollars. It is a tea light holder. The quality is nice. It's quite heavy. The edges are sharp. So let's grab that for a dollar. Back here is a pretty bowl. That's Max Sarah, and under here it looks like Port Marion. It is, it's a more modern Port Marion piece. It is ceramic. This is another one I'm not sure of the value of or the popularity. I do like the design of it. It's called Water Garden, so we'll check on that as well. We mustn't forget our lovely little draped candle holder there. Find a spot for that. And I have had my eye on this piece. I'm not sure if it's a canister or a cookie jar. If I had to guess, I would say it's Japanese. And the design looks like a germinating <laughs> sweet potato. It's $6. Oops, these need to be turned over so they don't fall. So we're going to get that as well. I've opened my mobile eBay app on my phone and typed in Water Garden Port. It recognizes it and comes up with Port Marion Water Garden. There is the pattern. We've got some salad plates. The vegetable bowl, if that's it, it's listed at $42.75. But the more important thing is what has sold. So we'll do four, uh, filter and scroll down to sold items, click off, and that will show us what has sold under that search term. I'm not seeing any bowls or even much with that same pattern sold. Some ply. I've narrowed my search into the bowl category and a few more pieces are coming up. I'm seeing lots of sets for around $20 to $30, so I think we'll leave it. Look at this a gorgeous vintage Westmoreland milk glass candle holder. They are asking $8 for it, which is a bit steep, but it would look fantastic in a winter display with some cobalt blue glass and some silver. Love the color and pattern on these plates and bowls. 
Unfortunately, there are only three of them. It would be a long tail item, a hard sell, so we'll leave them. This is fun, a little project piece, uh, a speckled eat drip glaze in green. It's 69 cents. Unfortunately, wax warmers just don't sell well for me unless they're scentsy, so I will leave it. Lovely terracotta bowl, unfortunately has a massive chip on the side. Got lots of glass, some slow cooker inserts there, lots of canisters. This is a vintage chip bowl. It's flash painted, as you can see, the red is worn off. We'll leave that. This is an interesting little plate. It looks like flow blue. I don't think it is. And this looks like Pampered Chef. Not marked though, $15, we'll leave it. More canisters. Here is a cobalt glass candle holder. I think that's party light. More canisters. Back here is an interesting plate. It looks like an abstract rooster on the front. $3, feels like restaurant wear, has an Asian indent in the back. This is fascinating. I'm going to see if I can find out what it is. Another piece of milk glass here. This is a more common piece, $4, probably worth about 10. A set of three, I love the pink, sadly a massive chip and crack in the creamer. We've got a little cruet here. As I pick it up, I can tell it is modern, very lightweight glass. These are tabletop lighters. There's two of them. Again, by the feel and the weight, I can tell that they are modern pieces. Oh, this is lovely. Fostoria chintz, a little dish. I'm not sure if it's a butter dish, possibly, but I'm going to take it anyway because it would be a lovely trinket. Here we are in the mug section having a look. This is fun. Frosty's Snowflake Cafe. Oh, I thought it was pottery, but it's just a lightweight ceramic piece. We'll leave it. Here's a Starbucks You Are Here mug. This is Phoenix. I don't think this is a good one. Um, I know that Australia and uh, Morocco are desirable, but we are going to double check anyway in eBay sold just in case it is $6. Let's keep going, see what else we can find. All sorts of mugs here. Oh, these are, they are Royal Dalton, I believe, the Pansy edition, Bone China. We'll perhaps pick those up for $2 a piece. They're really, really pretty. Fruit tapestry. Here's Otagiri, a lovely little black and white cat. Oh, it has its original sticker on the bottom. That is unusual to find. It's in lovely condition, beautiful quality, lovely pottery there. Look at the cat. He is fabulous. We'll put that carefully in the cart and see if there are any more. That brings me to our next tip. When you find something amazing on the shelf, do be extra diligent and see if there are any more. This is a lovely piece, a little mini teacup and saucer, $4. Absolutely love the design on that. We'll pop it into the cart. Moving into the glassware here, all sorts of shapes, sizes, sets and singles as usual. Checking to see if anything jumps out at me. I'm not sure what that little cutout is for. Cobalt and clear. Got some sets. What's this? Looks like a little creamer, a modern piece, uh, not vintage glass. It is a dollar. Sadly, clear sets don't sell ever so well for me, so we will leave that and keep going. Checking way up high, as always, making sure we don't miss anything. 
cocktail sets. These are vintage. They've got a good layer of dust on them. This one is etched, just a single. There's a vase here. Oh, that, <laughs> that's plastic. That fooled me. It always makes me laugh when they shoot up into the air. It's a green stemmed one there. Got some Mexican cactus stemmed margarita glasses. What else? Hard rock glasses, some bowls at the back, another blue single one. I love that color. More cactus glasses. And some more etched ones. There's two of these, $2 a piece. They're so pretty, aren't they? We are here in the vases, planters and florals, a big butterfly wreath, some silk roses. Compared to the other store we're used to, they don't have much to choose from here, but you just never know. Here's a mudman planter. Unfortunately, it's very much worse for wear with some chips and breaks, so we'll have to leave it. More silks, lots of modern planters, and pots, some glass, colored vases. Most of these are florist pieces. Oh, this is a project piece, looks like. Super duper heavy that. It looks like someone has actually put a material or clay over an existing vase. It's very, very heavy. Looks like a wine chiller. More glass over here. This is a modern mercury finish inexpensive big chip on the side more florist bowls that one retailed at 15 i quite like the texture on it though i was shopping the vases and through the shelves i saw a lady pick this piece up turn it over and put it back down everyone always tells me they never find anything in the metal section but I couldn't get over here quickly enough. This is a hammered copper piece by Harold Alfred. He's a First Nation Native Canadian artist. It has its original price sticker of $85. Goodwill has it at 25, but I think it's worth a whole lot more than that. That brings me to one more tip, and that is don't be afraid to pay up for an item when you know the profit is there. Look at this. I think this is, it is, it's party light. And I think this is the holder to that cobalt blue candle piece we found earlier. We should go get it after we're finished on the shelf and see if it fits. Let's keep going for now. All sorts of black wire pieces, racks and holders. This is for wine. What else have we got here? Oh, this is a vanity tray. I think it originally had a mirror inside, which is since missing. That's a shame. Some silver tone pieces here. Silver plated. This is made in India. Let's check this out. This is a reproduction piece. It is silver plate. I do like the design around the edge, but we are going to leave that. Little wall hangings there. Some more racks and holders. Wire risers. Some Oh, I thought these were going to be vintage brass, but they are very lightweight. Again, made in India. The quality isn't there. Not sure what these are. Are they legs for something? 
little pine cones, a candle holder, souvenir plate from Canada, tins and buckets, lots of metal little jugs, wire baskets, This is silver plate made in China. The ones made in Italy sell quite well. We are in the baskets and wood section. I've never actually seen this pineapple piece with a salt and pepper shaker in it sealed like that. Little watermelon box, some trays. Quite a nautical welcome sign. I do like that. Tiered trays and plaques. German souvenir plates. Let's see. More plaques and signs. This is a display case. Could put anything in there. It's maybe made for a football helmet or a trophy. These look Russian. I wonder if they are salt holders. A master salt with a lid and two open salts. I'm not sure about those. Possibly. Uh, missing lids, those two small ones. If you know anything about that set, do leave me a comment below. What else have we got? South Carolina souvenir treasure chest. Some hooks and wall hangings. It's a really big, heavy penguin here. He's got really bright colors, but unfortunately a broken beak. He will have to stay on the shelf. More baskets. And plaques. Pin boards. Here's a racquetball racket. Let's have a look. Not really knowledgeable in the area of sports equipment. It looks in fine condition, but uh, I am going to leave it for somebody else. Boxes and photo displays. Little caddy. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. We have made our way through the clothes to the Halloween boutique and over here the shelves are absolutely packed. Some stacked pumpkins here. This is a ceramic piece. Very modern. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is Fitz and Floyd. It's vintage with its original sticker. It's a bit manky, could use a wash, but it's only $3. We'll absolutely take that. Let's get it into our cart carefully. There we go, and we will keep going some candles, we've got acorns and pumpkins here. This is a little tractor, more candles. This poor blackbird is missing his hat. He's got big glue splotch on top of his head. Lots of costumes and signs. Skeletons and spiders, more pumpkins. Let's see, Halloween stew. That is $8, just a bit too much for me for resale. So we'll keep going. The Uncle Sam hat, more masks. 
On the floor here is an amazing piece of Halloween decor. I would say it's almost movie quality. It's made of fiberglass, but unfortunately it's got significant damage on the corner and at the back. So I think we will leave it. On top of that, um, it's very, very heavy and would take up a lot of room to store. The shelves are being restocked right in front of us. So let's go see what there is. Look at this vintage light up ghost. He's so cute and glittery and only $3. Up here, some contemporary pieces. These are brand new, not at Goodwill prices. Lots of plush, some flags over here. All sorts of decorations. Over here is a ceramic piece. I think this is Yankee Candle Pumpkin Carving Contest. It is a votive holder for $6. Oh, it has its original sticker. It is Yankee Candle Company. Let's put that in the cart. That is just adorable. What else can we find? Costumes, a little lantern missing its handle. Some glass vials. This fellow is fun. He's a shelf sitter skeleton. I think you could probably also put a little tea light in him for $4. He is so fun. Let's grab him as well. We'll keep going. We've got a turkey, more costumes and decorative bits. Little Oh, some signs and bags. What else? Candy buckets. Here is a lone Christmas reindeer. He's in a bit of a rough shape, so we'll leave him. The Halloween just keeps on coming. All sorts of costumes, little ceramics. A bat bear. Oh, here is the front of that pumpkin train we saw on the other shelf and the hay bales that go behind the tractor. If you know me, you'll know that I need <laughs> to go around and retrieve those pieces so they can be reunited with their friends. Where were they? Here they are. Here's the two pieces of the pumpkin train. Let's find a space for these. There we go. We'll set them up nicely. So hopefully somebody will see them and purchase them. It does look though that they are priced individually at between four and five dollars. So that is just a bit steep for me for resale. We'll keep going here, covering the shelves, but just as fast as I shop, they are restocking this area with baskets and baskets of new treasures. Here's a threshold pumpkin candle more pumpkins, black flowers, little metal, <laughs> metal figurine, and skulls. Look at this. It's a little ceramic bag with a face. I'm sure you could put a flickering candle inside. It's only $5. Just adorable. It reminds me of the scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. More skeletons and shackles. What else do we have here? Candy buckets. And shoes. A 
Let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is a monster hand, complete with massive claws. I wonder what you could do with this. It almost looks like it came off of a point of sale display, doesn't it? I absolutely love the colors. These lenticular posters are really fun. The image changes as you angle them. And back here is a Nightmare Before Christmas little Hot Wheels vehicle. It's only 69 cents and I would say for certain that that has some value. Going over the shelves a second time because as I mentioned, they just keep putting more and more items out. Here are some tombstones, decorative tombstones. These are really lightweight, made out of uh, painted polystyrene. I love to put these in our windows and decorate the front yard with them. So we'll grab those. More masks and plush and signs here. Costumes. Let's see. Little witch, more pumpkins and jars. Up here, they just put out this skeleton fellow. He's really happy. He's got knock knees and a bow tie. And when you push the button, his eyes light up. He is fantastic. I'm sure we can find a spot for him. What else? Oh, we have a little fall scarecrow as well. He's holding a sunflower and uh, he is free standing. Let's grab him as well. Not only have I found the front of the tractor that pulls the cart on the other side, but also a Christmas gnome and a Halloween gnome. <laughs> I absolutely love their beards, stripy socks and shoes, especially the Halloween gnomes, fancy patent boots. There's a spider as well to go with. <laughs> it looks like we are all set. The gnomes are safely in the cart, so I've grabbed the tractor and we will wheel him around the side here. to find his little hay bale trailer here. Here it is. Let's put those back together and all is good. Look at these two metal candle holder houses. I love the texture of these almost looks like hammered metal. It's quite spooky. They're really nice quality. The little doors snap shut as does. We are taking a stroll through the furniture to see what they have. I love this oversized chair. It's so regal, beautiful fabric. I wish I had a spot for it. We've got dining room sets, chests of drawers, armoires, and a modern sun wall hanging. Look at this mannequin, it's bejeweled. Unfortunately, some of the jewels are missing, but those could be replaced. That is really, really fun. Here we are in the artwork, lots to see, mostly very big pieces today. Look at this giraffe. Oh, I thought he was stitchery, but he's actually uh, bedazzled, bejeweled. All sorts from canvases to reproductions, to mirrors, to picture frames. Some very, very large pieces. 
Leave me a comment if you had faith that I would remember to try the Party Light Cobalt candle holder in the stand we found. I've got the candle holder. Let's find the stand. It's over here in the metal section. Here it is. We'll pop it inside. Uh, Ta-da! It fits. I knew it would. That is absolutely lovely, actually. <laughs> but unfortunately, I think they only sell for less than $20. Here on my table is everything we found at Goodwill, along with a few extra pieces I brought out for Halloween and those that some of you had asked if I still had in my inventory. Let's start over here. This is a piece that somebody asked about. Uh, in the comments. It's a scissors holder. I've had it quite a while since 2021. It is marked Sitter Ceramic 1982. has a gorgeous vintage look, a little bit of crazing, but you pop it on the wall using uh, a nail with that hole there and you can put your scissors in it. So you always have scissors at the ready. It would be especially handy in a sewing room or a craft room. I paid a couple of dollars for it. I am going to ask $22. Next, I believe this is a Fostoria chintz pattern. Lovely rectangular uh, trinket dish. I'm just noticing that possibly, yes, a couple of the little uh, points here are broken, but definitely not noticeable. Lovely vintage piece. I paid $3 for it. I am going to ask $12. Next is this lovely, unique candle holder. I believe... Looking at it and feeling it, it is possibly a Mikasa piece, um, a drape pattern, just lovely, very versatile. I paid $2 for it. I shall ask $15. Now, this little girl could either be a soap dish or a trinket dish. She's absolutely lovely. And surprisingly, she is an anthropology piece. She is marked Aria Ceramic. I paid $2 for her. I am going to ask $18. This is a lovely mini teacup and saucer. I love the design on it. It looks quite European. I paid $3.99. I'll flip it over, show you the mark here. It's Cerebelle Porcelain de Badour. Probably French. I love the lady on the mark there. She is so uh, classic. As I said, I paid $4. I am going to ask $25. Now here is the little music box we found. It does work. Unfortunately though, this little penguin that spins around is missing half his face. Such a shame. And this fellow, I believe, glues up here. He sits right here. That glue is going to need to be removed. I'll probably uh, put a little bit of solvent or probably vinegar first. I like to do the least abrasive first, some vinegar and a hairdryer to put some heat on it. But let me wind it up just a minute and uh, we can see how it works. So when you wind it up, this little fellow is on a magnet and he twirls around with the music. It's just lovely. Of course, you could put any figurine on a magnet and it would do a similar dance. Just lovely. 
Also with it uh, were these two polar bears. They're not part of the music box, but they look lovely next to it. I paid $5 for the music box. I'm going to fix it up, clean it, make it look nice, um, and bring it back next uh, haul for you to see. Uh, I value it probably about $28 to $35. Next, we have a Nordic wear pan. So many of you have been asking for Nordic wear. Uh, this is the cathedral pan. It's absolutely lovely. It makes a gorgeous bunt cake. Nice condition, no scratches. I am going to ask $25. Back here, I believe this is a vintage Chinese cooking pot. It has absolutely amazing images of... Um, a germinating sweet potato with leaves and flowers uh, it's really nice and substantial it's a heavy piece definitely vintage I paid six dollars for it and I value it at thirty five dollars back here is our dreams come true uh, it's a combination of stitchery and beadwork. Absolutely lovely. The colors are gorgeous. It is on a nice um, needlework frame with a chain for hanging here. Lovely for a kid's room, a playroom, or anywhere really. What did we pay for that? Let's see. We paid $3 for that and I am going to ask $20. Over here we have some plush. This is the witch I found up in Cedar City in the Deseret Industries. I just wanted to bring her back because she didn't sell the last time. She is missing the rim of her hat and uh, I had planned to find a piece of felt to go there. I just haven't got to it yet, but I thought with all the Halloweeny bits here, it would be an ideal time for her to find a new home. Paid a couple of dollars for her. I'm going to ask at $15. Next, we have our fabulous gnomes. Look at this fellow. He's got a jack-o'-lantern on his glittery hat and the funnest patent boots you've ever seen. He's just so great. And this fellow is Christmassy. He has also striped stockings and felt boots. It's really great. Just lovely. What did I pay? Oh, this one has his original tag, Hannah's. I paid $4 for these, and I am going to ask $15 a piece. Up here, we have our little scarecrow fellow holding his sunflower. He is so happy and fun. Perfect for the fall season. I paid up for him. I paid $8. And I'd actually planned to use him in my decor. But uh, if somebody falls in love with him, I am going to ask $28. Next to him is this fellow. <laughs> he is super flashy in his orange waistcoat and pants and boots he's got knock knees and a bow tie and when you turn his switch on let's see if I can do it without looking his eyes light up really fun for a window or on your porch just lovely let's see what did I pay for him I paid $6 for him and I am going to ask $35. A few of you asked about this 
black glass piece. It's not amethyst. Um, when you hold it up to the light, it is not translucent at all. It's black glass. It's a trophy vase. And um, I was asked for measurements. So across the top, five and a half inches. Sounds about eight inches high. Now, if you choose this vintage paint will come right off probably with some hot water and a sponge um, but you could also leave it as is you could incorporate it into your Halloween be really great uh, I paid $4.99 for it I am asking $22 next to it is this really fun cut to green vase i believe this is a pier one piece as you can see the cut to green allows some light through it so you could even put a candle inside if you wanted to a candle in the bottom a flicker candle and then some maybe black roses for the season would be really fun this is, um, has been part of my Halloween decor, but I am ready for it to go to a new home. Uh, I am going to ask $30 on that. Moving along, we have our fantastic houses. I have popped a couple of tea lights inside so you can see how they look all lit up. The spider we found is on top here. These are really great. They are a good size. Let me show you. They are ooh, about 10 inches on that one. And that one's about just a little less. 10 and 9 inches high. Again, great for a window or incorporate as a centerpiece part of your decor. Fantastic. I paid $6 a piece for them. I am going to ask $28. A piece. I wanted to include this fellow. He came late on the scene last season and didn't get sold. He's a little cat votive. Again, I put a couple of candles inside him. He's really fun. He's got little teeth and a door at the back. On him, I am going to ask $20. This piece was really interesting to me because uh, it's a sugar skull. It's made of plastic. It does not glow, but I think it would be amazing with a purple or orange candle inside. It would be ideal for your porch because it's plastic. It's not going to get broken. I paid $2 on that. I am going to ask $15. Keeping on the Halloween theme, let's take a look at this amazing Yankee candle. Uh, it's a votive or tea light holder. They go in the back. It is ceramic. It's a three little ones displaying their pumpkins. There's a spider up here. It's really great. It has its original sticker on it. It is a vintage piece, lovely detail, no damage. I paid $6 for it. I am going to ask $28. This guy is a shelf sitter. <laughs> He's absolutely fabulous. Actually, I am going to borrow this planter here and turn it upside down so he can actually show you how he sits look at him he's so great you could put a little pumpkin here there is a hole in the back for a tea light the light can radiate from his head and from his ribs he is articulated and maneuverable with the wires so great I paid four dollars for him and I am going to ask $22. dollars 
These salt and pepper mushrooms are also anthropology. They're ceramic with cork bases. Really, really fun. These are quite sought after. Only a couple available on eBay for up to $50. I am going to ask $35. The planter, as you saw, that the fellow um, is sitting on is lovely and green for the season. It looks great with apples or fruit in it or what about candy corn? Wouldn't that be great? Fill that with candy corn. It's definitely vintage. I paid $5 for it. I am going to ask $18. This piece is Fitz and Floyd. It's an amazing ghost with a pumpkin on his shoulder and he's a candy dish. He has its, his original sticker on the bottom, Fitz and Floyd, FF. I paid $4. I am going to ask $35. Look at this face. It is fantastic. This guy is Scioto brand. Look at the bottom. You can tell he's vintage. He reminds me of the Scarecrow in The Wizard of Oz. You could use him as a candy dish, as a vase, put a candle inside. He is super. We paid, what did we pay? Oh, $5. That's right. And I am going to ask $22. Let's move over here to the celestial wall hanging. It is made of a resin composite, I believe. I love that green color. It's the moon and three suns. Possibly the moon and the sun and two more moons. Whatever you would like. Hook for hanging. I paid $4. I'm going to ask $18. These guys were from last year and there was a big debate on whether they were, <laughs> I don't know why I thought they were Santa Snowman, I, I thought they were something quite odd but now looking at them corrected by many of you, I see that they are in fact ghosts. Oh I thought, I thought they were uh, Santa seahorses, that was very creative of, of me but somehow Many people wanted them, but uh, nobody paid. So there are three available here. I paid $3 a piece on those last year. I am going to ask $12 a piece. Some of you asked me if I had any of the brass pieces left. These are the pieces that remain. The two stalks or cranes here which are $18 a piece. We have our little unicorn for 20. Our two bell apples for 15 a piece. And our two little pitchers for 15 a piece. And this is a piece I had in my inventory. Thought I'd bring him out a little, I believe he is a bass fish. Could be an ashtray, could be a trinket dish. I'm going to ask $25 on him. Back here is an eagle. He is metal. I don't know that he is brass, just made to look like brass. But he would be wonderful as part of a Halloween decor or even in an office if you have a flag displayed, that would be perfect. I'm going to ask 22 on him. What about <laughs> this monster hand? I was dying to know what this is part of. It looks like it was attached to maybe a point of sale piece, part of a children's book display, something like that, but it is amazing. And I've been trying to see where I can uh, attach it in my home 
for the best effect. I paid $5.99 for it. I just don't know what to value it at because it seems to be very unique. If anyone has one of these or they have the rest of the monster, do let me know in the comments. It would be really fun uh, to find out if there is more. This is a Nightmare Before Christmas Disney and Tim Burton. It's a Hot Wheels little car. The character is the mayor there. The packaging is a bit worse for wear, but uh, it is new. I paid 69 cents for it. I am going to ask $15. These I had in my inventory for a couple of years. They are vintage Halloween decorations. Many people collect ephemera like this. These are absolutely fantastic. Definitely old. This one doesn't even have a barcode on it. Really fun. I believe there are eight invitations in each. It would be great to display as is or separate them out. I paid a dollar a piece for them a couple of years ago. I am going to ask $12 per pack. Next, we have a lovely Westmoreland candlestick. It is milk glass, grape and grape leaf motif. Just a gorgeous piece. I couldn't resist it. I paid up $8. Uh, but as I said in the video, these milk glass unique pieces make perfect displays combined with cobalt glass and some silver for a lovely wintry display between Christmas and Valentine's. Over here I have more of the fabric apples. We will do $10 a piece on those. And this is a piece that uh, was in my inventory. I'm not sure what happened. I thought it was sold, but here it is. <laughs> it's a artisan pottery piece, a little tray. I think that says John or Johnny, Jimmy, but it is beautifully made. I love the combination of the blue with the brown. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask 35 Next, let's go over here. Staying on the vintage pottery, this is beautiful look at the glaze on this royal copley planter it is crazed but just the richness of the colors and the shine of the glaze i am fascinated by this crack it doesn't even look like a crack it even looks like a manufacturer's defect it is definitely old but it seems to be filled in let me zoom for you look at that it's it's not even a crack almost part of the design i absolutely love this piece so classic i paid four dollars for it and i am going to ask 24 dollars did we look at these mugs here these are Royal Dalton. The pattern is fruit tapestry. There are pansies in all colors, absolutely gorgeous with some pears and blueberries. Just stunning. The detail under the handle and on the handle is absolutely amazing. Just what you would expect from Royal Dalton. There are two. They do match. I paid $2 a piece for these. I am going to ask $20 a piece. This mug is Otagiri. And the cat is fantastic. He has blue eyes closed. He looks extremely pleased with himself, a little medallion round his neck, beautiful quality, it has, it has its original gold Otagiri sticker, there it is, handcrafted in Japan, 
I paid 99 cents for it and I am going to ask $25. Let's see, did we get everything? It is challenging when the table is so full. Oh my goodness, our koala collection. This John Raya uh, koala is fabulous. He looks like he's just had a big meal and he's ready for a nap. He is super. Let me show you the mark. There it is. Raya. John Ray at 19. I believe that's 1997. The collection is Beasties of the Kingdom. And on eBay, these are uh, 30, 35, 40, $45. None sold. But I am going to price him at 30. We also had a few more koalas in the bag. This one is gorgeous. It, I think that says Royal Hut. Let's zoom. I can't read that. Royal Heritage, China. The detail, as you can see, is absolutely gorgeous. It's a lovely, lovely piece. I shall ask $18 on him. And the remainder are a little less impressive. This one is rubber. This one is an inexpensive resin piece by Greenbrier. We have a little chap here with a missing paw, another rubbery one there, and a candle. So if you're interested in any of the other pieces, just send me an offer. As with everything, if you are interested in purchasing, please send me an email. Include your name, your address, the item you're interested in and your offer. Do be aware that I receive offers over and above asking price. So if you are in love with something, um, you may want to go a little bit higher. Oh, we forgot our find of the day. This amazing hammered copper piece by Harold Alfred. I'll show you his signature again. He is a First Nation Native Canadian artist. This is his whale. The etching is superb. It's such a quality piece. Just gorgeous. Original price sticker was 85. I paid 25 for it. And I have found these. I think the lowest I found was $130. $30 and they are priced all the way up to $200 to $150. If you are interested in this piece, shoot me an offer. It is gorgeous. A hard to find collectible piece. Hammered copper. Beautiful. Uh, if you are native Canadian, I love it. And with that, do stay tuned. Um, we have some fun footage of Rio as a puppy <laughs> and as she is now, dogs grow so amazingly quickly, just like children do, treasure every second with them. If you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you again to everybody who put me over a 100,000 subscribers. I still can't believe it. And uh, I am so thrilled to be at that level. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot our ghost. Our little ghosty here. I plugged him in. He lights up perfectly. He is vintage. He has some glitter in. He's like a spaghetti, almost a fiberglass. But look at him. I paid $3 for him and he looks so lovely there. I think we are going to enjoy him this Halloween in our home. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye. 
If you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm thrilled to be speaking at this year's Boss Reseller Remix. It's October 16th through 19th here in Las Vegas. If you're a reseller at any level, tickets are still available. This will be my third year, so please join us. It's an incredible experience. If you can't make it in person, be sure to grab your virtual ticket. Get $10 off with my code THRIFTLV. It's so hard to believe that our German Shepherd girl Rio is 10 months old. I wanted to show you a few clips of how she looked when we brought her home compared to now. Making flash bark too. <laughs> Get away, Rio. <laughs> Thank you. 